Bet you never seen anyone walk down these stairs before. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we fought against the Shadow Sirens in search of Flurry's beloved necklace, and we returned it to her, and she thanked us by joining our party as our newest party member. In this episode, we are going to go ahead and show off how she's like in battle, as well as return to the Great Tree and see if she can help us find the secret thingy. Whatever that may be. So, Flurry's ability, she is a jumping party member, just like Mario, so, uh, Mario and Goombella in that regard, I guess. You can go ahead and use the Body Slam ability to do massive damage. We're gonna use it on the regular Dark Puff, just so we can show off its full potential. Just line up the cursor, and... There you go! Does two damage, uh, in one single hit, so it's like a powerful jump in that regard. So, we're just gonna go ahead and jump on him again. Uh, hopefully he doesn't do the electric thing, otherwise we won't be able to show this off. Thank you! Just gonna use the regular guard, so we could... Show off her stylish command real quick. Uh, you're gonna want to press A as soon as she lands on the ground. That's what you want to do. And there you go. That's her stylish. So remember what I was talking about before? How you gotta think about uh, whether you want your two damage to be uh, stored up into one attack or spread out between two different attacks. So Flurry gives you that ability to use the jump if you need to do it. If you want to be jumping on enemy. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. She allows you to jump on enemies if you need to do that for that specific scenario, but she stores her attacks into a single hit, so they become, uh, they're able to pierce through defense in that regard. Her other ability, Gale Force, it allows you to blow enemies off the field. However, if you do this, then you won't get experience for the enemies, so keep that in mind. And, of course, the one enemy that I actually wanted to get rid of didn't uh, fall off the screen. So, we gotta deal with this thing. Let's see if we can guard it. There we go. And she looks very creepy when her eyes were all like, Oh! Uh, we'll appeal to the audience. Hello, Madame Flurry back on stage. Go ahead and defend again. See if we can do this one more time. Uh, of course, I messed it up. Come on, defend. Thankfully, she's got extra HP to burn, so I don't have to worry about... Uh, getting too much damage done to me. Thank you. I like how she just scrunches down. Stuff looks really funny. And we're good. Five star points. Oh, we're five away from a level up. I probably could have just used the special attacks if I wanted to. Uh, I guess I'll use it on the way back. So I'll cut away to when I get my inevitable, an inevitable level up. Uh. Ouch. And there you go. There's our level up. Whatcha? Level up! Gonna go with FP and not give you a big old speech every single time I get another level up. And I'll meet you guys back at the Great Tree because just a bunch of backtracking again. Oh, we got an email on the way. It's a minor email because it wasn't story driven. It didn't like force us to read it. Uh, let's go into our mailbox. Ask people, what do we got? A uh, random premiere issue. Uh, RDM, Rogueport today. Bringing you all the up to the moment news as it happens. As now, we now have details of yet another incident at the parlor in West Rogueport. Outraged by the high Pianta prices, uh, Goomfree, age 30, is that like my name if I were a Goomba or something like that, uh, is suspected of violently shaking the Pianta cha Charger, age, or Changer, age 5, what? Causing the Pianta Changer's alarm to sound, which led to Pianta Changer ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was quoted as saying, I am a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Shop reporter, go! Get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. If Petalburg's your destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty Shop. The friendly owner has long been thought of it. Why shop you want to say you only live one? Wow, really? So enjoy while you can. Shop now at Old Nifty Shop. Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking, but you can try the chef's delicious suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, fried shrooms. Just as we were saying, real shrooms. I'll tell you the real You just have a little bit of We hope you enjoy your ride with your own You can look forward to the news and come away. Do not care. Okay. Sometimes the emails are funny, but other times they can just be like a big old drag. So I'm just going to go down here, enter the great tree once again. And make some actual progress now. As if all the stuff we've been doing before wasn't progress or something. Head on in here. 
Now, where's that magical thingy that we, uh, they were speaking of before? Punio said it was uh, somewhere up here, so... We should use uh, Flurry's ability on uh, out of battle, and... What do you know? It was labeled secret entrance after all. How convenient. That's a secret entrance! No, really? We can find it inside. Here I go! That's my line, Punio. I better sue you for copyright. Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was the diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over, but the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me. So I came to the woods, and soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them, however I can, before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out! Everything is opening up for me inside! Come on, over here! The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. I always like that conversation, I don't know why. It's just another one of those unfamiliarity things where it's just so unfitting for a Mario game. Like, why would I even, why would Mario even care about this, learning about her actress career or whatever? But it's just a little bit of history of this weird character that is just so out of place in this universe. And it just makes, I like the feeling of feeling uncomfortable or unfamiliar in uh, formulas that I've been so used to for so long. I'm getting that feeling right now when playing Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I thought I was going to hate it because Rabbids, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all before, but... The game is actually really stinking phenomenal. I love how uncomfortable it makes me feel by just seeing these scenarios and these characters together. So, if you haven't played it, please do because it's very much worth your time. Hurry up! Go inside! Oh, I don't actually have to bring you with me. Okay, and I go. Oh, nice place you got here. Got water inside of the tree, which looks really cool. I think that's the elder. Oh, what? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that is that he that Mario guy? What? He is. We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crumb told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario. Remember? You idiot! Use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break. These guys are weird. All right, we got ourselves a mini boss fight of some sort against the x Nods. We're gonna go ahead and switch to Goombella, as if you need me to tell you that. Unnecessary noises to fill out the empty void of non-commentary. That's an x Nod. Says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 0. They drink these potions that make them all big and burly, then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out, use special moves and items. So we'll have to keep that in mind, they're just gonna go ahead and use a regular attack right now, but I do the super guard. They're pretty quick though, it's kind of unexpected at first, but just keep the- oh wow, 3 damage. Uh, I like how I'm freaking out about 3 damage, and I forgot to switch to the sting and power bounce thing again. A uh, swap to Flurry, I don't even think I have enough BP for it, so I'd have to get rid of like a Quake Hammer or something like that, but whatever, just gonna go ahead and attack this one. Boing! And let's see what we can do, can we do a Super Guard, are you gonna drink the potion? No, I have a chance to defeat you, yes! That, down he goes, and as for this one, oh they do a, sometimes do a delayed jump so it makes it a bit more difficult to do the timing. Of course I fell for it. I'm gonna need to get better. I need to get good. Gonna finish him off. I really wish I could just like press A to have the lock on thing uh, speed up or whatever. And we're good. C Crud, that's stunned, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crumb isn't such a bad idea after all. 
And they're out of here, but thankfully they left the door unlocked for us. Or not. <laughs> Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But on the quest of our minds, what did everybody do? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come on, for Pete's sake. They found us a powerful ally. I like when he did a backflip. He, he's huge! Uh, are you sure your huge massage man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's there? Who else is back there? Beep, 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 beep. He's massive! I don't like him! He'll crush us! Danger! That stash! It's gonna be so burny! Now don't worry everybody! This is Mario and he's our friend! He's here to help! All those bad guys? Mario will stop every one of them! Just like those last goons! Is this it? There's so few! Well, we have to make do! Let me for me introduce Mario! Wait! I really, really know this burly fellow was our ally. He might be one of them. Yeah, but what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all find out that Mario and chase those guns out of here. We can take back our trees. We can take back our homes. Oh, big fat punio. Listen to yourself trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Bitchuni, tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so all right. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we couldn't tell them where to find the crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petunia. Well, they have certain tears, and we are going to look out for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They are hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is it for us. The end! And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit! How can you say that? He can, he can know that! We have to try, don't you see? Think about it! If we get together and take care of any stupid jabbies! So, who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone, let's pull our string! Oh, punio, punio, punio! You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts! That's not supposed to mean! Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in that tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Oh, like that'll ever happen. Please. Fine, we'll show you. Wait, Mario, wait. Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help him. Oh, my singing god. Oh, the king of voice cracks Puniper, keeping us in line or whatever, so... We need to go ahead and prove our worth to him in order to get him to help us out, which is kind of unfortunate. We got these bushes in here as well that we need to examine, because I'm all about them free items. Uh, I'm just going to go this away. Got a heal block and a save block right in here, so if you need them, feel free to use them. Or don't. Why not? i uh, just go up here, and how considered. They have like the little hole for the punies, but they also have the big hole for guests. How nice. Uh, this thing we can't do anything about. This is a pretty interesting dungeon that uses a lot of interesting mechanics exclusive to this area, which I really like. So it mixes up the gameplay a lot, but we have to progress through it a little bit on our own first before we see what that's all about. Gonna keep on examining things. I'm pretty sure there is a star piece in here. Oh, hello. This is a power punch. Boosts your partner's attack power by adding buffness. So it increases our attack power, basically. Very, very nice. Go and jump on you. X knobs are gonna become commonplace from here on out. Well, not super commonplace. Oh, we got a new enemy here. This guy is super annoying. This is an enemy that you don't want to waste a time, waste a turn switching to a partner. But I'm gonna go and do it anyway. Uh, we can go ahead and examine it. And yes, you can see in the audience now they're X knots. So now that we've met them, we can uh, see them in the audience as well. That's a yuck. Says here it's a creature created in the X knot labs. Max HP is three, attack is two, and defense is zero. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appears, take those out first. Duh. 
The mini yucks is very very annoying so basically you just want to get rid of these things as soon as possible because you're gonna have to deal with some annoying stuff otherwise as you will see uh, only one right now but right now it's invincible so we're going to need to get rid of it and I just realized that multi bounce is pretty good for this if you leave it out on the screen for too long so it's not too terrible that I wound up keeping it with me so we're gonna tell the mini yucks because it is its own individual enemy that's a mini yucks, a creature made to protect a yucks. It can split into two. Max HP is one, attack is zero, and defense is zero. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They are pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry is pretty effective. I guess you use Flurry to just blow, uh, not flow, blow them out of the arena if you don't want to fight them at all, but I don't want to do it like that. So we're just going to go ahead and use the multi bounce. Go bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Get rid of the two yuxes, or the mini yuxes, and then Goombella, how about you show off your new multi-bonk ability? It's just like Power Bounce, but with Goombella. And I totally messed it up. I did the stylus right, that was cool, right guys? Uh, that was sort of unfortunate. So, uh, you have the two little A's that you press, like, right when she's about to jump, you press A, and then you press A again, which is a little flip. And then you will do the two stylish commands, in case you want to know. And then, you, after that, you just keep on bouncing until you can't bounce no more. Which, for me, was after the first jump, so that's kind of unfortunate. Sorry, Goombella. Get them corns. And switch back to Flurry because it'd be kind of bad if dialogue started happening and Goombella was out. Just because gotta keep them voice actors in line. I gotta say, like, gathering the voice actors for this thing or gathering the lines in general is so stinging hard because I couldn't find, like, a complete script of Paper Mario dialogue. And I, I imagine it would be hard because, like, all the different party members, they have different lines of dialogue for, like, every single scenario. Hello, slow down. Because you could have different party members out. Like, if we met Flurry uh, while Goombella was out, then she would be talking about, say, hey, I think we heard about Netflix or something. It would just be worded slightly differently. So I gotta look out for that, I gotta make sure I have all the correct dialogue and all that jazz. It's kind of annoying, but it will be all worth it in the end when this LP is all finished. And this is another one of those LP that, um, I was hoping to have it like all recorded in advance, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case, but I kinda have to just to see what kind of, uh, dialogue I need. Um, but I just need to record up to a certain point so I know what I need, so hopefully it'll be okay and whatnot. At this point, I don't actually have any lines added. I was hoping to get the main party members' lines uh, collected before uh, Earthbound finished, but uh, things don't ever go as planned as I've learned. I always underestimate just how much work goes into LPs in general. I'm always like, oh, I could record Paper Mario 1000 Euro, I could record like the 50 hour RPG in the matter of less than a week. I could have a 50 hour recording session in a 24 hour day. That's how life works, right? It is not, and I always get disappointed whenever I find that out. I should have lower standards or just be more realistic with my planning so I'm not so disappointed later on. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we capture know anything about it, and they live here. After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Snap your neck! Um, ouch. Hello! Hi there! Elder, I just met her. Beauty, oh, is that you? You're looking well. Wow, well, you're so calm, Elder. Look trapped, and this is like Daryl's rescue of you. Ooh, rescuing, is it? Well, I suppose the thanks are in order. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help your other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Let me think, where was I? Oh, yes, right, your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you, those uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. No, none, I tell you, honestly, I have to ask. What's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you? Please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something vital to you. Listen up. Let me think. Where was I? Uh, yes, right. Your question. And he just repeats herself. Be brave! It's time for everyone's favorite game, find the main anime character. Jeez, how high can my voice go? Of course I will, dear sister! And the brown is a mini island! Look at him! 
you going to get you out of there right away, I swear. I just had to hold tight for a second. Actually... Mario, listen. We gotta find the side of the key. We ain't going nowhere. You could just use the paper thin ability to go in there. Look, I saved all the punies. <laughs> I got them all. We're done here. We're done with the chapter. Oh, wait. We gotta get them out of the cell. Okay. I guess it's not gonna be as easy as that. So, we're just gonna go in here. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me? We must what? Are you a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait. I see. And I most certainly do not approve. Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Ooh! <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Oh, mercy me, Mario. You're popular with all of the girls, aren't you? The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous. What a shameless flirt, though. Oh, he's not dead after all. Oh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirtying. But I don't know why. I always just like a little jingle. It's just like... He's always thinking funny. He's got a fire flower, which is cool. So we're going to go ahead and jump on him. And a very easy fight. I would have been funny if he had like one HP missing from when Miss Mouse like snapped his neck or whatever. Uh, just go ahead and do that. And that was a pathetic excuse for a boss. Oh, mamma mia, I'm so tired. Three start points. And we get a red key. How convenient that that was a required fight. Get a corn, and we do have one more treasure chest that we could open that she didn't go through, and that contains an ultra shroom. I didn't think it actually did contain an ultra shroom. Uh, what do I want to do? I'll drop not the honey syrup, but I'll go ahead and use a regular mushroom. Heal up a bit, and go ahead and grab that honey syrup. Ultra shroom recovers 50 HP, so you don't you're not gonna want to use it right now. I recommend putting it in storage because it's such a good item. And they're very expensive, as we saw before in Rogue Port. So the red key presumably would open up the red cage, unless it's like Pokemon. It's like the red orb controls the blue Pokemon or something like that. That's how it worked, right? And they were back! We hit a rescue! Like that close of a flurry. <laughs> Foolish child! Beautio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you will, but how could you abandon your poor sister and run like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but the elder, I just want to find help, to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining, you never interrupt an elder mid-lecture, never. You wonder why the elder, other beauties call you a doofus sometimes, that's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our beauty tribe one day. That day's not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later. Or else, you got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, I'm there. Yes, I understand. Brr, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Hey, I was just telling you, we tend to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. This still is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. <laughs> I like the way she walks. Oh, well, there's some nose. Enough standing around. Just the right potato. I'll be right back for you. So we freed the Elder, which is nice. I don't know why they decided to put just one puny in the one cage. Of course, just making things inconvenient for us, because now we gotta go find another key to save the other punies. Okay, then. Well, I could use a speedrunning tactic. Jump down there and go through this pipe. 
and I use another speedrunning tactic of editing magic, which regular speedruns can't do when they're live. Mwahaha. Well, if it isn't Pugio. Hey, you heard me. Hey, I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the elder. I told you I should do it. Don't get a swelled head. Yeah, you're one to talk. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Deplorable! How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against! We must stand together now! We must take back our tree! Don't you understand that? But, but Elder? Shut your trap, Puniper! And mind me, I hear you'll help Mustache here. What'd you say your name was again? It was, er, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario! Who's Mario? I mean, sis, it's only real famous, come on! Yes, yes, simmer down, you, and everyone else help Martio clear out of our tree. Uh, Alright, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything, to tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunia too. And you're right, we have no choice, we must fight, right everyone? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party. They're not actual party members. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, you guys. Say, if you have a moment, might I ask you a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called a crystal star. Do you know of it? The crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been, saw, have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Oh, you need a pure heart in order to get it? That's unfortunate. We can't get one of those until Super Paper Mario. Margie, er, Margio, I think you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You get all that, Margio? Crystal star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold your horses, I forgot something. Before you could get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of all the punies, not a chance. So here you better take this, it's the puny orb, the symbol of our leader. Hello, airplane, my god, are you like right above my singing house or something? I'm gonna wait for you, because elders know about patience. Who am I kidding? Others don't care about anyone. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you to when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone just kind of hangs out in the stairs at the orb. We got the puny orb, the emblem of a puny elder, leader, whatever, given to you by the elder. Alright, guys, let's go rescue everybody! Yeah! So we have our- Oh, one more thing! So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. I actually forgot that happened. No, then where was I? Oh, right. On your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come and see me. What I'll do is I'll give them a whistle to call them back here. Got all that? Very, very helpful. We'll get into the puny mechanic in the next episode. We got ourselves a little entourage right here. A nice little posse. And they'll help us explore the Great Tree even further. Next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to explore the Great Tree in hopes of rescuing all of the punies. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.